This folder right here contains all of the files that you will need to run the, fo the Frogger prototype. You can, you can download these files from the link in the description. So first what you want to do is you, uh, you want to mount uh, the, uh, the frogger.q file with, uh, with a, uh, an ISO mounting thing or uh, one moment uh, or uh, po power ISO is an example of that. Uh, but if you're going to use power ISO, be careful when installing it. There's some adware or uh, there's some something nasty in uh, in the installer that uh, that you uh, that it'll it'll trip off um, antivirus. But um, you also want to uh, um, you you want to make sure that that doesn't install. Just when when you're uh, installing that, uh, go through the menus and um, and make sure that you don't install the. Uh, it's like Bing Bar or something like that. Um, so what what you're gonna do next is then uh, like mount uh, the Frogger.q to a to a virtual CD drive. So you have essentially the contents of the prototype CD here, and um, what uh, what you want to do is you want to uh, right click this uh, yeah run it as admin and then uh, then go through the installer uh, you can click next here but um, there are there are some uh, some things that you have to uh, have to do so uh, you want to uncheck these boxes because uh, they they make it so oh when you try to run Frogger it has a registry error. Um, and uh, yeah, that should that should be good. Um, and when it says uh, install Frogger shortcut, say no because otherwise because uh, that error is for some reason. Then you can close uh, close the things it's opened. Uh, the the setup is actually pretty surprised that it managed to finish, which. Uh, yeah, it, uh, it it was pretty difficult to uh, to get this all working, um, probably because it wasn't meant to be an actual release. But uh, the next thing you're gonna want to do is uh, go to go to where you installed it. So in this case, C program files Frogger, and uh, one of the, one of the files that you'll uh, that you'll download is uh, this uh, zip file called Prototype Tools. Uh, just open that up and copy everything in it into uh, into this folder into the folder you uh, you installed it to then uh, then what you're gonna do is uh, right click Frogger uh, and go to compatibility oh it looks like I already had some things set uh, on this machine but uh, what you want to do is uh, you can you can set it with um, Compatibility mode for Windows 95 or Windows 98. Yeah, I'll do Windows 98. Why not? You want to run it as administrator, and that should that should be okay. If it doesn't work, you might want to turn this on and put it on 16-bit color. But I didn't need it, so um, that uh, that should be that should be all right for now. Then. Um, then, uh, then the next step is going to be a little weird, but uh, you're going to want to reinstall the prototype. Um, we don't know why we have to do this, but it doesn't work if we don't do it. Uh, so we're going to reinstall it. Uh, so you run it as administrator again. You click next, next. You, you turn off the two checkboxes again, and uh, you wait for it to install. Say no again. And uh, and close things again. Notice how it says glide this time. Um, you're gonna you're gonna shut out of everything. Actually, no. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna run uh, run setup now, uh, which uh, which basically is like video setup in uh, in the retail one. So what you want to do is you want to select glide. Uh, select this resolution. It might work with other resolutions, but uh, this one seems to to work well. Uh, so make sure that use debug DLLs is off, uh, and then press OK if that's all the same. And hopefully, next time you're on Frogger.
it'll work. And uh, you can do Alt Tab to uh, to make it windowed, which interestingly enough, you can't actually do that in the final version. The final version reacts to Alt Tab much worse than the prototype does. Uh, but um, yeah, that's uh, that's all you need to do to get it running. It looks like.